Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the most used function in Excel, which is count function. Okay, so before we proceed, just in case you don't have uh, Microsoft Excel installed on your computer, you may use your uh, Microsoft account. Just log in to office.com. And just in case you don't have an account yet, you can just uh, create one. Okay, so we actually have a lot of applications under uh, Microsoft Office, so make use of the Excel one. So you just need uh, to click that icon there and start a new workbook. Since um, I have my PC installed with uh, Microsoft Office applications including Excel, so I'm gonna use uh, the installed one so, since it's pretty uh, amazing, it's pretty uh, easy to navigate for me. Alright, so I have uh, prepared data set already we have employee ID name call type receive calls all right so uh, we're gonna use this data in learning this count function so we have uh, listed here uh, five count fun uh, count functions so we have count count a count blank count if and also count ifs Okay, and also we have uh, the scenarios. So the first scenario that I have here, well, you can actually uh, create your own, but uh, let's follow this so that we can just uh, get the gist on how this uh, count function works. Our goal is to get the number of cells that contain numbers okay so um, for everyone's knowledge it's very important that we actually uh, place or we put equal sign before we type a formula okay that's the only way that uh, our, our uh, Excel application will recognize that we are typing a formula and not just a uh, text You type count, click, and we're gonna get the range. So our range is actually from uh, from D two until D thirty. Okay, so D two until D thirty. So you drag it. So we're good d2 until d30 so so it's gonna identify the the cells within within this uh, range that contains number okay okay so we have 28 cells from d2 until d30 Oh, we actually have 29 however the one on d28 is blank so that's why it's not counted as we are only counting uh, the cells with uh, that contain uh, that contain numbers okay next is count a our goal is to get the number of cells on call type column that is not empty so again uh, we put an equal sign and count a type count a 
or you simply click the this one count a and again the same thing uh, earlier you just need to drag it uh, drag and look and like a uh, drag from wherever or whatever range you'd like start from from D2 uh, C2 rather C2 until C30 after that uh, place a uh, close parenthesis okay still 28 still 28 and we're gonna check our our results later okay next is next function that we have is count lang so basically this is very uh, pretty simple it's gonna count all the the cells cells that are empty okay so count lang just count black and again uh, range so under contact from C2 until C30 and close parenthesis okay it's one and the next one is count F our goal is to get the number of cells with billing all time. Okay. False count if. Open parenthesis and we we'll look for the range. So still C2 until C30 and comma and this time we're gonna put a uh, criteria so uh, make sure uh, that the cor uh, the, the, the text that you're gonna be placing is actually going to match with what we whatever we have under uh, this call type okay with whether it's repair or billing so we're gonna look for billing first so for your uh, since you're gonna be looking for a keyword so you make sure that there is uh, an open quotation and type billing and close quotation next is get the number of cells with more than 15 received calls so earlier we we're, were looking for a uh, text for a, a keyword right we were counting that the the billing call type now we're gonna be uh, looking for the numbers more than 15 okay so still count if and range D D2 until D30 since we're gonna be uh, counting we're gonna be looking for uh, more than 15 received calls so count so still open quotation it's more than 10 more than 15 that's pretty easy right okay so answer is 12 next is count ifs so this one it's actually the same with the previous one however we're gonna be uh, adding more criteria so earlier on this count if we only have had one uh, criteria so right now it's gonna be at least two two criteria okay so our goal is to get the number of how many how many Lian in test entries with billing call type. Okay. Count. Count ifs. So criteria range is range one. So look for the name first. Lian in test. So B two until B thirty. And. The criteria we're looking for Lian in test okay Lian 
and this. And another gamma, another uh, criteria range for the next one, looking for billing. And gamma, the criteria, it's billing. And since our goal is to look for two or just to have two criteria, then we can close it. Enter. So we have two. So right now it's time for us to check if we we got it right. Like all of these functions. Are used correctly according to the scenarios so first is number of cells that contain numbers okay we use the deep, uh, the receive calls so let's check contain numbers so you don't really need to actually count this one like I'm uh, like one by one count you just need to highlight it and here we have 28 count 28 cells with entry okay but we actually have on within this range we have 29 cells but only 28 has entry okay so the first one is correct the next one is count a so count a get the number of, of uh, field cells on call type column so count the cells it's the same thing we should get 28 Let's proceed to the next two functions. We have count if. So count if the answer here is 19, but let's double check. Let's do a manual uh, check, manual count on this one. So the first scenario is get the number of cells with building call type column. So we filter building on me. Billing. So let's check how many billing. We have 11, 12, 13, uh, sorry, 17, 18. Correct? Oh, we're missing one. So we have 19 billing. It's correct. The next one is get the number of cells with more than 15 received calls. So it's counting. So this time, so let's check. Okay, we're not including 15 because uh, our requirement is more than and not equal. We got 11, wait, let's count again. So we got 12, 12, 12 numbers are more than 15, okay, correct. Next, or the last one that we have to check is 
get the number of how many lian inches entries with billing call type so manually so lian inches so we have first we have the first one here lian inches and another lian inches with billing is where is it lian. okay we have yet another lian inches with billing so if we check i change this one to repair then it would change also here all right guys that's about it for the count functions in excel and thank you so much for watching and just in case you have not subscribed yet to my channel please do so and hit the bell button so that you will get notified whenever i upload new videos thank you so much